Here we go. Good morning. My name is Miguel, and welcome to an episode of Are These Two Things Connected? 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 We're just gonna dive right in. Thing number one social justice. Yeah, we're going there. Thing number two photography. Oh, photography. Now, I personally use photography for journaling. Now, the Photography is a really good way of sharing, um, but I mainly use photography to kind of like take moments of my life so that I can remember them. All right, all right. All right. Let's connect the two things. Now, some of you might be thinking, social justice, photography, do those like even? I realized that photography actually plays a really big role in social justice. Here's an example. In her TED talk, Lisa Christine uses photography to show what modern slavery looks like. Now, modern slavery is something that should be addressed, I think. And here, Lisa uses photography to raise awareness about the issue um, and, you know, kind of give you an image of what that looks like. I will put a link to her talk down below. Go watch it. Um, and yeah, you know, photography is one way in which the world gets notified about things in the world, you know. After giving it a good thought, photography may play a bigger role than we might even imagine. Photography and imagery um, play a big role in like pretty day-to-day -day things in my opinion, like me with my journaling, um, ads, art. There's a lot happening in terms of imagery, photography in our lives. Um, but the one reason that makes me say that photography actually plays a big role in social justice is because people fight about it. People fight about the role of photography in social justice. So I hope I'm saying her name right, but here's a picture of Fabian Charisma. So after the big earthquake, Fabian looted three picture frames and two plastic chairs. Um, she was caught by the police and shot to death. So this picture was taken by photographer Paul Henson um, and it shared with the world, you know, the desperation that was happening in Haiti at the time. Later it won an award for best international news image at the Swedish Picture of the Year Awards. Now soon after that, that award had been given out, um, Photographer Nathan Weber put out this picture um, sort of as an afterthought about the award that had been given out. The picture put sort of a bad taste in, pe in people's mouths. In my opinion, if people are fighting about something, you know, it's got to be kind of important, you know. Um, and here people were talking about um, what these photographers were doing and the ethics behind the picture. Um, and so I guess that means, you know, that photography actually plays a pretty big role. So are they connected? Of course, of course. And, you know, there's a lot to s say and ask about, you know, the role that photography plays in social justice. Now, let's not forget to ask some questions. I guess some good questions to ask here are what other places does photography play an important role that, you know, are worth discussing? Should we be having this conversation um, about the role that photography plays in social justice? Are there other things? things in the world that photography plays a role in that we need to talk about, maybe. But yeah, what's your opinion? Um, tell me about it. And remember, don't forget to ask more questions. Now, I should mention, I really believe that Fabian should not have lost her life over stealing three framed pictures and two plastic chairs. I just, she shouldn't, no. May she rest in peace. I think that's all I had to say. Peace. I was taken